Well, good morning, guys. It's Monday, uh, December 19th. We had two cats last week. We're right into week two here, what I'm calling week two. Um, just so I can keep track of days easier. We're just gonna go Sunday by Sunday. But uh, out here, heading down over here, we've got a really big wash ahead of us, like uh, probably about a half mile down. But there's all these bigger cuts coming up. And it runs up here, runs way up into the mountains over here. But all these different cuts. And these ones are some really good rocky ones. Uh, with sandy washes, probably four or five feet wide. Um, so decent little washes, but uh, again, they're coming up off of this big wash out at the bottom that a lot of people are driving in and everything else. But uh, you can see right there ahead of us, got my little feather hanging on a piece of bamboo there. And we got a door down today. Go see what we have. All right, guys. So I don't know what happened with the camera there, but it stopped recording. We got ourselves a nice bobcat in here. Got our tags on the side. Really blonde bobcat. Really happy with this one. It's not a monster. It's not like as big as some of the other ones, but it's still a decent sized cat, harvestable. So we're gonna get this cat out of the cage and get it taken care of here, get it dispatched, and uh, we'll give you a look at it. All right, guys. All righty, guys, got the set all remade, as you can see. Let's see if we can get out of the sun there. There we go. But we got the uh, cat turds right there up front, donated by this beautiful Tom here. Really fat one. Probably one of the fattest cats I've caught before, as far as just size wise. It's just really fat, but as you guys can see, insanely white belly. I mean, just beautiful white. Really, really happy with this cat. Nice, decent sized Tom. Not as big as that one we caught the other day, not that monster, but it's still a nice sized cat. Got our squeaker box going. Got our deer hide hanging in the back. We got our lamb's wool in the back there. Rescented, recovered, facing down the wash. Got our flag right there. We are good to go. So we're gonna get back up to the truck. We still got a few more cages to check. We'll catch you guys down the line. Good morning, guys. It's December 23rd. We're out here on the line. I'm back at my juniper set. It's a little been about a week doors down again. This is where we caught that monster Tom. I have no idea what we've got in here. I just saw the door was down. Just pulled a couple of cages because uh, they just haven't been producing. So I pulled those and we're going to move them today. And then I came up on this one. And so it's cage number three of the line today. We got 14 cages out. Let's see what we got. Do we actually catch anything or is it just knocked down? Oh no, we got a we got a bobcat. All right. Nice looking cat too. Good looking bobcat. Done, you guys. Little water holes like this on a juniper. Got this big wash coming up here. Take a look. So you got this wash that comes up. And it's just got these little water holes that now have dried up. But these cats are still working it. And there's this big juniper on this wash. It's the only big tree, if you look both directions, it's really the only big thing out here. So it's kind of, that's kind of your structure, I guess you could say. And these cats are putting it up and using it as a point, and this is a decent sized cat. It has made a mess of this set. Hey buddy. Good sized cat. Definitely harvestable. Good looking cat. Very happy with this one. We'll get this cat taken care of and then uh, we'll give you guys a look at it. Decent looking cat though. Alright guys, we'll see you in a minute. Alrighty guys, got the set all remade. 
nice big tom another big one nice big tom real nice belly white goes way down into the legs really nice spots really nice big white chest white goes way up into the arms all the way down to the dew claw really just pretty cat really pretty cat got the saddle remade got my lead in scent going all the way to the back some sheep's wool with the squeaker box in the back we got uh, Trapper Jay's long call lure and I got some of his uh, all predator lure in the back as well as some of my um, my uh, bobcat gland lure that I make so that's what we've got in the cage set that's what we've been using and it has just been crushing these cats this is cat number four another nice big tom that's four toms in a row I'm really happy with this this set's doing well that's two cats for this set so check out these washes guys what look for big junipers look for something big big sort of structure on that wash that really stands out it's going to draw in all the animals to come check it out they'll use it as a landmark so yeah this is a week later and i caught another big tom in this cage so super happy with that all right guys got a whole bunch more cages to check still so we'll catch you down the line mm -hmm.